I did, yes. So, you know, all of my staff, um, we are excited to get the vaccine. You know, um, we are in the COVID unit, so therefore, you know, my team will be getting first chances to get the vaccine. And I know that um, it's really, I'm sorry, I'm feeling really dizzy. I'm sorry. All right, Shalom, I'm Mike. Even first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Racha, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the Pots and Elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elite. This teacher word in all true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today I just want to title this lesson, The Effects of Babylon. You know, because as you can see, the results... Of being with this bitch and subscribing to this whore, ultimately you're gonna die in one way, form, or fashion, man. You know, and we just, uh, the clip I just played pretty much, you know, proved that. You know, she took the mask, she took the mask, and she got masked out, man. You know? But that's the results, you know, of being close to, being, you know, too close to a serpent, coming out wild beast. You're gonna get, you're gonna get, uh, you're gonna die, pretty much. You know, you're gonna get injured. They're gonna injure you. You know, and then ultimately, to, and ultimately devour you. You know, matter of fact, um, what's this? This is um Ecclesiastes Surah 21 and two. It said, "Flee from sin, as from the face of a serpent." See, and what's the face of the serpent? The image of the beast. This system, what this man portrays unto you, what he puts forth to you, man. You know, by the way of his philosophies, you know, by the way of his his laws and legislations, man. You know, how you think, how you how you perceive life supposed to be, man. Flee from that because open that sin. This is the embodiment of sin. This is this is wickedness uh, at its height, man. Why? Because the wicked is in power, man. So it said, flee from sin as from the face of the serpent. So flee from this system. Flee from that mindset, man. It says, for if thou comest too near it, see, when you come too near it, see, when you start more and more again, uh, uh, you still have to more and more trust in this place because you have these so-called miracles. They ain't got to lay it to stand on no more, man. See, they are solely trusting in this the, uh, their government now because it's getting to the point where you can't do this unless you get that. Every, that word mandatory is being thrown around. That The devil is now being revealed, man. That serpent is now being found in the garden, man. You know? So when it said, for if, it said, for if thou comest too near it, it will bite thee. See? And, and it is not no coincidence the Lord compared this man to a serpent. See, the Lord hit this right on the head when it came down to the so-called, with, with everything, you know. But when it comes to the so-called white man, the Lord, is, 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 he, he, he hit it on the head. When he called this man the devil, you know, that wasn't, that wasn't no light statement, man. You know, when you, when, you, when you able to get, when you able to convince somebody, you know, to, you, you already raped them, robbed and pillaged their land. And you and you you have them celebrating that day, you know, which is thanks, thanks so called Thanksgiving. You have you got Gad Gadites Ruben, you know, really Jake as a whole celebrating, you know, so called Thanksgiving, celebrating, you know, uh, uh, Christmas Columbus Day and shit, man. You know, so this man is the devil on top, but also the serpent, man. It's to the point that he's actually pricking you, just like how a serpent would. Just like a serpent, they, they bite you with those fangs, which they're hollow, and they inject you with poison. 
Well, guess what? That's the same thing with these Maxines. He get you, he hit you with that needle, which is a fame. And then the poison hit you, man, by the way of the Maxine, man. So he's not he's not just known as the serpent because he just cunning, but he actually do things of the serpent, such as pricking you and, and injecting you with venom, man. So it said, for if thou comest too near it, it will bite thee, see? And ultimately, when you come to, when, like I said, when you trust, when you have the wholeheartedly trust in this this devil, that ultimate bite is going to be by the way of that chip, man. You know, it says the teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion, slaying the souls of men, see? And and with uh, when you when you uh, bite some with your teeth, you doing it, you know, like a piece of chicken. You might bite a piece of chicken and you chew it. You break it down. You destroy it first. Then you swallow it down. But that's what this man doing. By the way, of his laws and his legislations, man. You know, ultimately, when that military come through, man, the teeth, those iron teeth, man. But it first play out by the way where he pushed forth his laws and his media, man. You know? But as you can see, dealing with this uh, serpent, or this whore, Esau, Edom, Babylon the Great, you know, the results of it is going to be death ultimately, man. And one way, form, or fashion, either you're going to, you know, die by eating too many pork chops, you know, uh, uh, you die from one of these uh, STDs or uh, drugs, you know, dealing with his technology, a car accident or some crazy shit like that. And even the Matt scene, man. See, he's not known as a sword for nothing either. Because ultimately, a sword destroyer, a sword is meant to kill, man. You know? so And that's what this man is doing. He has pretty much mastered death. That's why he is known as death. You know? So let's see if we can find this real quick. Yep, this is um Proverbs 23 and um, in 27. It says, for a whore is a deep ditch. And a strange woman is a narrow pit. See, and those are snares and traps, man. And and who's that whore? Who's that strange woman? That's talking about America and what she puts forth. This is a whole, this is a, uh, uh, this, 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 uh, this is like, um, uh, wisdom, evil sister, man. On some shit like that, man. You know, this is like the counterpart of wisdom, man. Because we're, true wisdom is set up to, preserve you to keep you alive you know that why uh ultimately that that uh what it is you read ecclesiastes the ninth chapter solomon said ain't no greater wisdom than this and that was talking about the poor man that delivered that city so true wisdom is actually what's meant to preserve you man you know but with this wisdom that this devil puts that this whore puts this philosophy is pretty much to kill you but you got different ways to die now. You know, that's what she present. How you want to die. You want to die a Muslim? You know, living that lifestyle. You want to die living this fast life. You want to be a dope boy, woot, woot, this and that. You know? Or do you want to just be die an American? Take the mat scene and somehow the side effects kick in later on, man. You know? But those are snares and traps and pits, man. You know, that's what she puts forth. It says, she also live and wait as for a prey. See? And who else does that? A serpent, man. You know? Or any type of predator. You lying, wait, you stalking your prey. You know? It says, an increase of the transgressors of uh, Salakia. I'm going to read that again, Salakia. It says, she also live and wait as for a prey. And increase of the transgressors among men. See, and that's let you know that she's the source of the wickedness, man. And what's that? Flee from a, uh, the, the face of a serpent. Flee from sin as from the face of the serpent, man. Because the face of the serpent is the one that's pushed forth the sin. That's what you want to go sin, go to the serpent, man. Same thing in this. You want to deal with this whore. She's going to help increase your transgressions, man. Pretty much a coming day you going off, man. You know, which actually speeds up your death now. You getting the Lord more angry, man, dealing with this bitch, man. But you see now the results of being with her. You know, that, and that was one of those examples. The woman passed out, you know, by the way, after taking those vaccines. But as you can see on the flip side, 
See, this man ain't known as the devil for now. On the flip side, you had Mike Pence. This nigga so-called took took the Maxine live. You know? And that probably be a man of uh, a high status. You know? And when you looked at it, you seen in the background those them screens in the background. Safe and effective Maxine. Operation Warp Speed. We promise that this is safe and effective. And they use a Mike Pence as the puppet, man. You know, but that's not going to stop the people that was on the fence and say, you know, since Mike Pence took it, I'm, I'm going to forget about old girl that just passed out. No, man. You know, it says, uh, kind. it says, who have woe, who have sorrow, who have contentions, who have babbling, who have wounds without cause, who have retinas of eyes. It said, they that tarry long at the wine, they that go to seek miss wine, see? And and that's what this devil brings forth, man. And di- and and that's and that's the results of having it. See, you having woe, you having sorrow, contentions, babbling, wounds without cause, redness, vice. That's you. That's the result of you drinking the wine of this bitch, man. But that was in that was in her cup. It might were good at first, but then once you swallow it down, the effects. That's when the effects kick in. You know, you ain't you ain't drinking wine. You know, just for the taste. No, it's an effect that comes with the wine, man. It's a it's a result with everything that you intake. You know, and that's a result of, of drinking this 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 uh mis wine that this this strange horse pushing, man. It says, Look not thou upon the wine when it is red, see, or when it give it his color in the cup, when it move it itself aright, see. So don't don't look at this wine just because it's presenting itself. Uh, as as you know, uh, like I said in uh, in, the, in the garden, the, it, it it was pleasant to the eyes. That fruit was pleasant unto the eyes, man. Cause it's it's, it's promoting itself a certain way. Don't look at it like that. Why? Because it said at the last it bite up like a serpent, and sting up like an adder. See, so that's ultimately what's going to happen. You're going to get bit like a serpent, and what? And ultimately, that's don't you see that now? You actually seeing people get bit like a serpent, meaning what? You have a needle that's hollow and injecting you with poison, man. And ultimately, what's going to happen? You're going to die, you know? That's ultimately what's going to happen when you get bit by a, a serpent. You die. And that's what that's why the Lord compared this man, the so-called white man, to the serpent. You don't supposed to get by this nigga, man. You don't supposed to, you don't supposed to be around this nigga. I mean, you know, we still have to... So called, you know, do what you gotta do. I ain't saying, you know, you reading the book of Obadiah to your your boss. You know, you still gotta move subtly. You know, but ultimately you can't trust and lean on this man, man. You gotta already know, you know, at any time to give up all of this, man. Because he's coming down. See, he's trying to he's trying to push you out, you know. Out of this system, man. If you not comply, you no. Know, so he want the ones to do, that's gonna willingly buy down to him, man. You know. So I'm gonna go back. This is Surat twelve, and um, Surat twelve and um, yeah, <clears throat> so like you, Surat twelve and ten. I mean, well. I started at 10. Yes, it never trust thy enemy, for like his iron rust of so is his wickedness, see? So you ain't never supposed to trust this man. And ultimately, and especially now, because as iron rust, so is his wickedness. So meaning what? Back then in the 50s, he was, he was wicked as hell. But guess what? That rust, that iron got more rusty. So this nigga is more of a devil now. He's more of a demon. He's more, you know, uh, um, like I said, that, uh, Contrary to your how about Shemal Shai say, man. That old serpent. So you really don't pose to trust this nigga now, man. It said, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And that's pretty much how a predator do. It look like it's perceived that they're crouching, but really they about to pounce on you, man. You know? It says, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away, see? 
So you're gonna actually look and you're gonna look at this man track record and see what he's doing now. You can like, damn, this this the same nigga, man. It tells you uh, there's a generation that's not that's not all together washed from their filthiness, man. Meaning what? This nigga for seen, you know, he got a certain image that he's pushing forth unto you. You know, that's why you get a so-called man. He, he deemed himself as white. You know, he and he's trying to keep that image. But you look at it like, hold on. Nigga, you, you that same nigga, man. You know? It says, set him not by thee, lest he have overthrown thee. And stand up in that place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand. Lest he seek to take thy seat. See? And say, and thou at the last remember my words. And be pricked therewith. See? And that's what you, now you, you, you prick now. Why? Because you thinking like, damn, this man was a damn devil the whole time. Once you, once you get bit, you know what I mean? Then you like, damn, this nigga was a snake. You're going to be pricked with those words, man. And you actually going to be pricked. It says, Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? Or any such as come now, wild beast. And a charmer is what that one that actually, you know, deals with serpents, man. They actually, you know, the ones that had the little, uh, I forget what instrument that is. But pretty much, uh, they play with snakes pretty much, man. Just, that, that's just pretty much what it is. They play with snakes. So, you ain't going to feel sorry for a nigga that's playing with a serpent, man. Because ultimately what's going to happen, he's going to get bit and he's going to die. So, you can't feel sorry for somebody like that. That's just like some a dude pretty much nigga broke his arm from a skateboard accident. Well, that's what he was asking for, you know? You were asking to break your arm when you try to jump over them 12 steps with your skateboard, man. You know? So it says, So one that go to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity? See, so that's why we read in Sarah 21. Flee from sin as from the face of a serpent, man. Because ultimately, what's going to happen? You're going to die, man. Trusting in this man and, 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 and believing on him. You're going to die. Like I said, either by the way of the mass scene, or you dying by uh, that damn high cholesterol, uh, 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 you want to... You Falling out the Esau, being a drug dealer, a rob, steal, kill, whatever he put, whatever this man puts forth, those are different avenues of death, man. So ultimately, that's what's gonna happen to you if you can if you continue with this man. You know, I'm gonna end it off on this. This is Sarah 13 and 1. He that touch a pitch shall be the fire therewith. And this man is unclean, man. He he's like tar, you know. Because once you touch and you touch anything else, that's going to get the foul. Everything else that you touch, that's going to be the foul, man. And that's why you see the planet Earth is the foul right now because of the inhabitants. Everywhere this nigga go is the foul. You got chemical plants and McDonald's everywhere, you know. It's because of this nigga, man. It says, he that touch a piss shall be the fire therewith, and he that have fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him. So, because ultimately he's deaf, and that's what he's going to receive. He's going to get destruction. He's the son of perdition. But guess what? He's trying, to, he, if he's trying to take everybody else out with him as well, man. You know? So, you pretty much, you've you had a fellowship with this man. You're going to actually suffer the results of this man, too. You, you in the same car with a nigga that got a hit on him. But guess what? You in that car with him, you gonna get hit too, man. Oh, that, that's pretty much what the Lord is saying, man. You know. But as you can see, the results of Babylon, you know, the woman took the mad scene and she got messed out, and that's just one of the forms of death that this devil is is, is presenting unto you, man. You know. So yeah, I can I just hold it with edifying. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Rochakodash. Double honors to the present elders of Great Millstone. Shall warn to the elect that teach word in our true faith and sincerity. DTA, a Bible ball.